Hello, my name is Zoar Jibble, and this is an educational series called Where Are You At With? Part of the Know, Understand, and Remember learning series from Engaging the Underachiever. Today's topic is Cranky Cinema. So the question is, where are you at with cranky cinema. Everyone's all set to go here in our classroom, so let's begin. For this project, you will need to have some sort of box. A shoe box works great. I happen to have a cereal box, which also works fine. You'll need to have two cardboard tubes. I saved a couple of tubes from rolls of paper toweling. Next you'll need some paper. I have some typing paper here. Oh, what's that? Typing paper? It's what you, oh, <laughs> it's what I used to use for typing. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's funny to me anyway. Uh, copy paper. I still call it typing paper. You'll need some copy paper. You'll also need the standard tools for drawing, pencil, markers, crayons, and especially for this project, scissors and tape. Step number one, cut a hole in the box that is a little bit smaller than the paper. It's going to be the window or screen for our cinema. What's that? No, no. Not cinnamon. Cinema. It's like a movie at a theater. That's what we're making. A kind of movie theater in a box. Step number two. Cut holes in the top and bottom of the box for the tubes. They should be big enough so that the tubes turn easily, but not so big that they flop around. And they should be past the window opening if you have room on the sides. Step number three. Draw the scenes from your movie. Uh, oh, what's that? You, you don't have a movie? Well, you can make something up. How about draw five pictures of things you know how to do? Like, oh, I don't know, uh, tie your shoe, uh, ride a bike, uh, make toast. Maybe something from math or, or science. Step number four. Tape your scenes together in the order you want them to be seen. Put the tape on the back side so that it doesn't show in the movie. Also, you might want to check to make sure you have everything lined up properly. Step number five. Tape one end of your movie to one of the tubes. Well, you actually might want to put a leader on your movie. A leader is usually blank and allows for the entire film to be seen. You could put a leader on the front end and on the back end. Now, tape your movie leaders to the cardboard tubes. Step number six. Roll the movie onto one of the tubes. Step number seven. Place the tubes into the holes you cut in the box. This might take a bit of extra effort to make them fit properly. You might have to trim the tubes or modify the holes a bit to make it all work. Step number eight. Turn the tube so the pictures slide across the window of your movie theater box. Stop on each picture. Well, we'll call that practice. Now that you know how to make a cranky cinema, you're ready to make improvements on it. Can anyone think of some things or some ways that might make this even better? Uh, put a title page before the movie? That's a great idea. Put the end on the last page before the leader. 
I like that. If you use a shoe box, you can take off the lid to make loading the film easier. That's a great idea. Work in partners so we can be the voices and make sound effects for the movie. Super! There you have it. How to make a cranky cinema and a few ideas from our class on how to make it even better. Thank you.